quick disclaimer before this video starts. When I record on my desktop, the audio is a bit forward, so um, I don't know why. Um, the same issue happened with one of my videos, uh, but I have recorded two videos and um, the Eurotrux Mayor 2 one seems to be fine. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. What's up guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video I will be showing you guys how to install mods in Eurotrux Mayor 2. Just ignore all my tabs that I've got up here. Um, but yeah, so this will be how to install mods. Uh, I'll be showing you guys two examples of how to do it. First is through the internet. So what you want to do is you want to find the page that you want to install a mod from. So this is the Frosty Winter mod. This is what I've actually been using for my Let's Play. So as you can see, Frosty Winter mod version 7.5, 1.38, which means version 1.38. So if you're wondering where I got this mod from originally, I got this from the Squirrels game, game mods uh, spreadsheet, um, which is a really helpful mod spreadsheet by a very well-known YouTuber called Squirrel. He's a really good YouTuber. I recommend checking him out. Um, and he has thankfully uh, categorized all of his uh, mods that he knows and has put them. So if you guys want a Jazzy Cat mod or if you want a Iveco mod, then you've, he's got you covered here. Okay, and I'll also leave a link for this and this in the description. So, yeah, this is the Frosty Winter mod. Uh, this is version 7.5, um, which is the latest version. Um, on the Squirrels uh, spreadsheet, it actually says um, down the bottom here, if I go to the bottom, it says um, testing. So that could be why some of the graphical issues are happening. So yeah. So as you can see, uh, I'm just going to show you how to install the standard one because it will take a while for all of the, for all of the, uh, uh, all of these to download. Okay, so let's download the mod. So what you guys want to do is um, you want to just click on the download Frosty Winter mod. Now it'll take you to this link. Don't be alarmed when you click on it. Uh, when you see, it will say threat detected if you are using antivirus or with the window thing. Um, it is not a virus. Um, that is the page that it loads up in. Um, is trying to uh, do something with Google. So it's not going to be harmful. So it's totally safe. Um, yeah. So you want to hit confirm download on here, and it will bring up another tab. You want to quit out of that. And as you can see, it should say threat secure. That's only because the browser that I opened up was a dodgy uh, website, but um, it won't actually affect my computer. Okay. So you now want to download it. As you can see, it saved the co up. It will come up uh, like that all the time on any uh, any time you try and download one online. If it's from Shared Mod, Shared Mod is a very uh, good uh, host downloading. Um, but of course, it's got adverts, uh, so make sure you guys click on the right links and you'll be good. Okay, so I will be back once this has downloaded. As you guys can see, it's now been downloaded. This is actually my older one that I used. Uh, this is the one that I have already installed on my computer. So what you want to do is you just want to click on it. You want to click on it. You want to right click, you want to click copy. You want to go in your ETS2 directory. So you want to go to your file explorer. You want to go documents, Eurotruxware 2. You should see a mod folder here. You want to click on it. And you want to right click and click paste. So that's how to install mods on your uh, via the Google way, via the internet. This will be how to install a mod via the Steam Workshop. So this is a lot easier and this also keeps the mods uh, fully up to date. So what you guys want to do is once you're on the is once you're on Steam, you want to go to workshop. And as you can see, we are on the workshop. So there is most popular mods, um, most subscribed and most recent. So let's say we want the, let's just look for a random one that we want. Um, so this one, 
this is a remake of the next gen Scania gauges. So if we click on this mod, should work. Here we go. So I can't really see a difference. Okay, it's a very simple remake. Okay. So as you can see, it looks like it works on the latest version. Uh, well, it works on 1.37, this guy put, but yeah, it should work on the latest version. I found no issues with mods uh, like this, and yeah, they all seem to work, uh, like the indicator noise mod for the old Jens Gallia, and they all seem to work through all the versions. So yeah, you just want to hit subscribe. So this item has been added to your subscriptions. Some games will require you to relaunch, so if you've got the game open, you want to relaunch it, and then so you can download it. So. Let's go back to the game and it should start downloading soon so I will be back once it's downloaded. So it turns out it downloaded uh, really quickly. If I go to my downloads as you can see it says it's over there. don't know why it says zero bytes but yeah so it should now be on my mods. Let's see so now when I hit play. So you now want to hit mod manager. And then wait for this to load. If you haven't already got the mods, uh, the mod folder in your mods list, you will want to go on the game and go into the mod manager first, and then you should have the mod, uh, the mod folder created in your directory folder, in your documents. So as you can see, the Scania Next Gen gauges have been installed, and to uninstall them, all you have to do is just click unsubscribe, or you can view the mod on the Steam Workshop, like this, and you can then go and unsubscribe like that. So I'll just show you guys how to unsubscribe. So you want to hit unsubscribe, and now as you can see, the mod has gone. Make sure you remove the mod before you unsubscribe. Let's exit out the game. So it's the same for the for the frosty winter mod, but you um, obviously can't subscribe for it. You want to go to your uh, documents, your Truximetic mod, and then right click on the mod, and then hit delete. Make sure you take it out of the game before you delete it. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, remember to leave a like and comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.